What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the show. This right here is going to be another Gray Zone Warfare video. We have a few updates that I wanted to share with y'all today in regards to the playtest and overall development of Gray Zone Warfare. So on my previous video, I did some calculated speculation on the release dates of the playtest and the early access and kind of drew up a timeline in my head about when these things were going to take place. So some information today kind of reiterates my point in regards to that. So first and foremost, let's get into the first one. So on Reddit, we actually had the creative director who posted about development, some of the developers' experience, and how they prefer their community to be more skeptical instead of overhyped. I'll put a link to his post in the description. You can check it out. But what he said about new gameplay footage coming out is what I wanted to go over. He said, and I quote, We are working on polishing, optimizing, stabilizing now. We should have raw gameplay video later this month. Definitely. So in my previous videos, I've talked about that I suspect they're going to do some type of walkthrough on a mission so they can at least show us the updated build of the game instead of the pre-alpha trailers that they released a few months back. And I have a few reasons to believe that they might share that online publicly, whether it be in Discord or on their YouTube. They might share that a few days before Loot Fest, um, which that's going to be on the 24th. So I can see them posting it uh, maybe a few days before, maybe the day of, but it's just an assumption. Either way, within probably the next five to seven days, we're going to be seeing the raw updated gameplay footage on the current build that we will likely be getting on the playtest, as well as the announcement of the playtest and, and maybe even the early access itself. So another thing this guy shared on Reddit was their updated work on polishing out sites. And he says, and I quote, we are polishing sites now and it's finally emissive. So as you can see here in the image, you can clearly see a difference in the work that they have done. But he did confirm it is updated and a lot better than it was previously. So one of the next questions that was asked was basically the gunplay recoil, the realistic aspects of shooting weapons in Gray Zone Warfare. And the dev responded with recoil is different now, fully simulated. We will talk about it on the future devlog. It definitely needs some loving, tweaking still as we set up all parts. Also, it's more realistic than Hollywoodish, end quote. Another question, um, this one was from Thumbless God. He was asking about the uh, optimization for the, uh, the RTX 2070 at 60 FPS. Dev responded, we are aiming for day one, but that's also about CPU and RAM, of course. And I've told people, I've had comments on my videos, guys, that, that card is, is not a... I mean, I understand not wanting to upgrade. I, I get it. It's going to cost a little money, but you know they're, what they're aiming for, the 2070 is not that crazy to be, you know for that that to be the minimum gpu requirement it's not it's not unheard of you have to understand what type of game you're trying to play so so one more thing i wanted to share was this image right here which apparently is over a year old um i cannot confirm that but this is a uh i know it's not going to be the best quality guys but this is a basically the menu of what your character looks like again this is a year old and they've said that it's a lot different now but the thing with games is that menu and ui and development of stuff outside the actual core gameplay comes last so the fact that this is a year old if that is the truth it is even more so proof that the game is ready because you have to remember that in the trailers that they were showing us it was pre-alpha gameplay that was recorded also around the same time year ago so everything with this recent dev saying that they're polishing out the last thing and trying to stabilize everything has myself and a lot of people pretty excited, not overhyping it, but pretty excited that, that we're actually going to get a fairly complete product in some degree. I know they don't want us to get overhype about it, but with, in regards to other games in the recent past, it's going to be a nice change of flavor that they actually have stuff polished out like that. So yeah, I figured I'd share this information, guys. That's really all I have. I told you I'm going to try to keep you all updated as soon as I find out stuff. I'm going to try to push out a video as soon as I can on it. But this is the place to be when we do get a confirmed release date. When we do get any new information, I will be pushing it out as soon as I can, likely within the hour. If you're interested in Grey Zone Warfare news, future gameplay, and everything about the game in general, this is the place to be. Make sure you subscribe. Like the video, please. If you have any questions, comment, concern, put them down below and I'll address everything. That being said, I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you.